Welcome back to Thalia's Cakes. Today's video is a special request from one of my subscribers, Rhiannon. I hope I said that right. She requested a buttercream rose tutorial. If you enjoy cake decorating and baking, you might want to consider subscribing. The first thing you will need is a flour nail. As you can see, I actually made this one myself. Hey, it works pretty great. I was really desperate at the time, okay? A piece of parchment paper, buttercream, piping bag, and a 104 piping tip. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to make a rose. I'm going to pipe out a little bit of buttercream onto the flour nail and then place down a little piece of parchment paper. I'm going to pipe out a donut shape and then in the center, I'm going to pipe out a chub of buttercream. I know, a chub. <laughs> to begin, make sure that the skinny part of the piping tip is facing up and then you can begin piping on the petals over the chub, overlapping each other like this. An easy way to think of it is just thinking of the shape of a rainbow. And then eventually you will get something like this. Moving on to my next flower, the wild rose. For this one, you can just start right away with the petals. You want to create like a teardrop shape. And then when you move on to the next one, you want to place your piping tip right underneath the petal in front of it. And then I'm going to place in three little non pareils in the center. Now normally the wild rose, I've noticed it's like five petals, but your girl got a little carried away. And then if you want to get a little fancy fancy, place two different buttercream colors into a piping bag so that you can get something nice and unique. Once you're done piping all your flowers, you can pop it into the freezer for about 25 to 30 minutes so that way they can harden up and they're easier to take off the parchment paper and place them onto a cake. If this video was helpful to you in any kind of way, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. Share it with a friend. And if you're new here, click that circle button right over here to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my other fun cake tutorials right over here. Thank you so much. God bless.